you use Elgato Wavelink for your content creation and streams, today I'm going to show you how you can separate all your audio so you can control everything individually and even remove music from your VODs. <laughs> Obviously, most people that use Elgato Wavelink will have it set up the standard way. They'll have all the audio going into Elgato Wavelink and then being sent out via the Elgato Stream Mixer, which means when you go to OBS, you've only got one audio meter for the entirety of your audio, which works great for most people because it's a nice, simple setup. However, if you want to get more advanced and do fun things with your audio, like audio ducking or remove your music from like recordings and VODs and stuff, then you need to know how to split it up. Right now in OBS, you'll You'll see that you've got this stream mix audio meter which is the singular one doing everything but we're going to remove that and then split everything up so the way that we do that is come to your settings here go to audio scroll down a bit and then find wavelength stream and effectively just disable it and make sure that everything is disabled so you have no audio whatsoever in OBS apply and now we've got a nice clean slate from here you want to make a new scene which is just going to be for our audio so if you right click here press add name it audio in here though we're going to add a whole bunch of audio sources which is basically going to be everything in elgato wavelink so if you right click a source and press add and now instead of choosing audio input capture we're actually going to choose audio output capture this is one of those things that like confused me for the longest time and i assumed that elgato couldn't even split up the audio because i was always trying to input audio using audio input capture. However, you're not capturing an input, you're capturing the output from another program. As I said earlier on though, we're gonna to go to sources, right click, press add, and then choose audio output capture, which the first one I'm gonna name is browser, cause that's the first one I'm gonna add in. And then once you've pressed okay, you should see in this drop down list, all of the options from Elgato Waves. I think we've got like system, voice chat, music, game, browser, all sorts, everything you'd need. So I'm gonna choose browser, and press OK. From here though, we're going to basically do the exact same thing and just add every single source from Elgato Wavelink. And once you finish doing that, you'll have this scene now, which has all the output sources from Wavelink, but we're still missing one important piece of audio, and that's our microphone. If you want to keep it all enclosed in this one scene, you can right click it, press add, choose audio input capture this time, and then obviously you can choose microphone. And then in this one, you're going to choose Wavelink Microphone FX, because if you choose the FX version, it's going to have all the effects and stuff you've added in Wavelink. But if you just choose Mic In, it's going to be the raw input of the microphone. So definitely choose Wavelink Microphone FX instead. Once you've actually added all your audio inputs and outputs to this scene, we actually need to add all of this to our streaming scenes. And the way that we do that is to obviously come to the scenes we use for streaming, and then we're going to scene nest it. So you want to right click in source, press add, and then find scene and then when you choose that you should be able to see audio which is obviously the scene we've added here and then when you add that in all our audio sounds should be in this new scene obviously make sure to do this to all your streaming scenes to make sure you have audio for like gameplay just chatting be right back or whatever but once you've done that i can now show you how to remove music from like your recordings of vods and stuff so to make sure that our music isn't appearing in our vods and recordings and stuff you want to come to our audio scene just so you can see all the audio tracks then find your music come down to the options at the bottom choose advanced audio properties which should load this page up here we're going to find music again and then come across to tracks and remove it uncheck this box from track one after doing that you can close the advanced properties and then come to settings in obs find output and then in here in streaming settings we want to change our audio track to track two instead because that means our music's still going to play when we're live but if you want to remove it from recordings and vods and stuff you want to go to twitch vod track here turn it on and then highlight track one changing this setting means that our audience can hear it when live but when it's on a vod there will be no music however if you want to actually change that for recording you need to come to the recording tab and then make sure that the same audio track is ticked so obviously track one again something that surprised me was how uncommon this information is because obviously there's a lot of info out there about native obs audio but there wasn't too much info out there about using elgato wavelength to do this exact same thing so hopefully this video was somewhat useful for you so if you do have any questions or queries or confused about something leave me a comment down below and also if you do want to improve just the general sound of your microphone in elgato wavelength then i made this video recently so hopefully that can help you out